uh, live reaction from Lee. So um, if I ask you all to put your hands up virtually, um, we'll work through the list. Thank you very much. And you gone up. Uh, I saw Tom's first, Tom Barkley at the sun. Hi, Lee. Hi, Tom, you all right? Yeah, very, very good, thanks. You must have been very happy with that. What pleased you most about that performance? Um, not, not so much the performance. I, I thought the effort that we've had after the lads for the last nine days, nine, ten days, uh, the effort, the professionalism, and then obviously the way that they, um, the way that they conduct themselves during the game against a tough, tricky opponent. Um, you know, it's been a really positive start to the campaign. We spoke about getting off to a good start. We spoke about, um, you know, the, the new players that were coming into the team and, and the, the responsibility that comes with that. So, you know I, know, I know we mentioned it the other day about the the fact that we've got the under-19s, under-20s and the last last campaign's 21s. You know, we're, we're basically putting three groups of players together. Um, so the, the fact the fact that we've got, a, um, you know, I'd, I'd say a six and a half stroke, seven out of ten performance um, is something that they can be proud of. Talk about taking responsibility. Uh, Cole Palmer on his first appearance scored a fantastic goal, very good performance. Uh, I'm presuming he might may not have even started if Emil Smith Rowe hadn't been unwell. Yeah. Um, first of all, what is the update on Smith Rowe? And also, yeah, his, uh, and a comment about Cole Palmer's performance. Yes, Emil was, fe was feeling uh, under the weather um, for a couple of days. Um, he stayed with us and to see if he, he felt any better. It's not COVID related. Um, and we just felt it was the right, um, rather than risking him and him playing at maybe 70%, we felt the right thing to do was to send them back to the to the clubs. You know, we'll always make sure that we'll never put them at risk in terms of their health or, or you know, playing with injuries. We'll, we'll always try and do what's best for the players, taking into consideration their age and the stage of their, their careers that they're at. Um, but like I said, pre-match, you know, and then I've been, been lucky enough to, to be in around international football for a while now. Someone drops out, you know, Nine times out of ten, you've got players in the squad that are more than capable of starting as well. And Cole took his chance. So I was really lucky to see Cole um, three or four years back when I was coaching uh, Man City's under-18s. Cole was in the 15. So I was, I was aware of, of Cole Palmer. I was aware of Tommy Doyle, um, Jimmy Garner. Obviously, Jimmy weren't at, weren't at City. He was at, he was at uh, United. But I've been aware of these younger players for a while. And, and Cole took his chance. So what I like most about Cole's performance tonight was uh, just before he scored, he was having a bit of a, a sticky spell, um, struggling to get into the game. And then when he was in the game, he was maybe maybe trying too hard. And, you know, I spoke to him at half-time, but his, the mentality that he's, that he's got um, to just keep wanting to get on the ball and keep trying to be positive is um, he's going to hold him in good stead in the future. I'm sure he could have gone out on loan this this summer, but Pep Guardiola wanted to keep him despite all those array of uh, options out wide. I guess what he showed tonight sort of showed just what... A, the reason for that, what a talent he is. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a highly talented player, and I'm you know I'm not I'm not sure I um, the position that I started him in tonight. I'm not sure that's going to be his, his best position or the or the position that he plays the most games in. You know, he's very really effective in in the central areas as well. But you know, we went we went with um, with Connor uh, Gallagher and Jimmy Garner, who are, who are excellent players in in their own right. So yeah, Cole had to um, you know come in come in last minute and. You know, he performed. He performed uh, very well. As, as did a lot of the players. Thanks, Lee. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, Tom. We've got quite a few hands up, so if we could ask people to stick to a couple of questions each moving forward, that'd be really handy. Um, we'll go to Greg Emmers next at the Athletic. Hi, Lee. This is um, slightly away from the game. It's quite a unique thing having brothers in in a squad. So you've had had, had Aaron. Um, and obviously Jacob Ramsey was called up at some point. The yeah. two of them have had mixed emotions this week and, and, yeah, and obviously yeah. haven't been, been able to get on, but yeah, yeah, can, yeah. can you just talk to me about them, what you've seen in them? Um, uh, you know, you know, yeah, so I'm, I've been aware of both players for a while because the amount of um, games that the talent, not only the talent reporters get to, but the amount of games that the, that the national coaches get to as well. We communicate between uh, 18s, 19s, 20s, 21s, as well as the rest of the pathway. So we're aware of a lot of the players within the pathway, which makes it um, ideal when we do have chances to, to move players up and down and, and getting the timing right of that. Um, Jacob was a player that I coached um, for the 20s. Um, player that I like a lot. He was in the original squad. Um, powerful player. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's getting some minutes as well at the minute at, uh, at Villa. Um, and he's doing well. Um, he deserved his place in the squad. It was unfortunate that that he didn't make the um, 
obviously he was he was he, he was he come down with COVID, so you know we're drawing from the squad. Um, you know, and then Aaron Aaron being with the 19s gave us the gave us the opportunity to to bump him up with this. Uh, like I say, a player that I'm more than aware of. He can play in various positions, and um, you know, it's testament to to, to Villa's academy that you know that the, the standard of players that they're producing is is very high. If you used to just briefly say what the difference is between the two of them, could, could you? <laughs> Um, yeah, they've, they've got a, they have got a lot of similar attributes. I think um, you know Aaron's. They're, they're both they're both very similar. Like like you like you alluded to at the start, they are very similar to the way that they play. Um, yeah, and uh, like I say, I think I think they're both going to um, be important players to, to the England pathway. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Um, we'll go to Nick next at PA. Hi, Lee. Congratulations tonight. Hey, Nick. You're just, right. Just- yeah, thank you. Um, just again on Cole, do, do you see him from what you've seen close quarters over the last uh, few days and, and what you've seen uh, from him previously? Yeah. Can you see him making that impact, a, a big impact at Manchester City this season? I think it's a, it's a really it's a really tough, really tough, obviously, team to get into. Like a lot of the players that play for the, you know, the top six, seven, eight clubs, it's very difficult to get to get game time and the level. That they have to play out week in week out and train out week in week out is is immense. The, the, the thing we can do with England is, is support them as much as we can. Um, we rate him highly. Um, you know, he, he more than deserved his place in the squad. You know, the 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 balance is going to be now making sure that um, we try and we try and get his minutes um, and and try and keep like I say keep supporting him because he's he's a he's a he's a real talent. And I know you touched on it with Sky earlier in your TVs, but um, how does Ollie Skip look a little bit later later on? And is it is there any early prognosis in terms of severity? No, well, I I um, I've seen him on the on the treatment table with some with some ice on his groin, and um, he just said that it was it was a there was a, just a bit of stiffness there. So you know, like like these injuries, you'll probably know a bit more about it tomorrow. But um, Ollie's a really robust player, so. Um, you know the, the intensity that he plays at. He, he, he um, you know, he's 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 a hundred percent. You know, for ninety minutes, and um, you know, I thought he was excellent tonight. I thought, um, you know, he's going to be a really important part of the of the of the team for us. Okay, thank you, Adam. Cheers, Nick. Cheers, Nick. Then we've got two more, and then we'll finish. So we'll go to Mike Waters next. Hi, Lee. Congratulations. Thank you. You're. Um, how important is it to you as under twenty one coach? that when players come to you with England, that they've got game time under their belts and they come to you at full throttle, if you like, and it's yeah. not you who has to bring them to the boil. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not, yeah. I mean, it's, the, the ideal world would be that they're all playing and they're all, they're all firing. Um, I've, been, I've been lucky enough to be in and around the England teams now for, for you know, two or three, four years, and that's not always the case. And I think sometimes we have to, especially with, um, if, if we see a player that's got high potential, we have to we have to make sure that we're there to support that uh, because there are there are going to be peaks and troughs within their careers, and I think it's um, you know the ideal situation situation is that they're getting their minutes at their clubs and that you know like you say they're coming to us um, up to up to the speed. Sometimes with we're, especially with a ten day camp, we do have that luxury of maybe um, putting some work into them in the in the first week and then potentially getting them ready for the second game. So. Um, but it's always with that balance of, of uh, not putting the players at risk because the intensity that international football, uh, the output that they give, you know, we, what we don't want to do is a player come away with us and, and get injured. You're on mute, Mike, I think. Uh, just very briefly, Lee, how much of a setback was it that the, your first game or your scheduled first game didn't happen? Did you feel a little bit like uh, I don't know, a racehorse left at the starting gate? Um, yeah, pr- probably more like a greyhound than a racehorse. Um, I think um, I it was it was you know it was it was a blow. But like I say, um, the, the professionalism professionalism that the players have shown throughout the whole um, camp has been excellent. Um, we pretty much moved on straight away to the cost for preparation. Um, the day we were supposed to play against Romania, we ended up having an in-house game, eleven v eleven, um, which was a, a really high level, um, which gave uh, Ashley as well and, and, and Jolian chance to see the players in a game and uh, give us a chance to see how we work as a staff and how we debrief 
um, clips, and now we uh, and now how we then um, deliver the the clips back to the players. So it actually um, it actually we actually turned out you know a, a, a not great experience into a into a positive one. We were able then to move down to Luton, and uh, they were really accommodating at their training ground, and uh, we were able to like yeah start working on the on the cost of them prep. So all, all in all, it worked out uh, well. Thanks, Mike. And then we'll finish up with Jack at the mail. Is that me? Sorry, I can't really hear you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, Lee, you were saying um, the first kind of 20 minutes or so, Cole well, was nowhere near his best, really, from people that have, that have watched him. Was the kind of most impressive thing from your point of view that he was still showing for the ball, still demanding it, and then had the confidence with the goal as well? Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, I didn't think Cole was poor for the first 25 minutes. I just, I didn't think he was at his best, but, you know, taking into consideration it's his debut, he's playing in a position that's probably not his, his favourite position. You know, I, I love seeing Cole play as a 10 inside. You know, he takes up such exciting positions and when he's, when he does get the ball, he's, he's capable of getting it on his back foot and playing forward. So, but what, what, what impressed me most about Cole, like I've alluded to already, was the mentality that he's got. You know, the um, and, and I've seen that first hand. I was lucky enough to coach um, the Man City, the Man, some of the Man City players, the likes of Jaden and Phil and 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 Brahim and and um, you know, but the, they the, mentally they're they're very strong players. They they want the ball all the time. Um, they want to be positive. Um, and and Cole was, you know, I, I you know, I, I never, I never, I never doubted that. Um, Cole's got the ability to produce really exciting and, and flashes of brilliance. And um, the main thing for us is making sure that we create a, an environment and a, and a platform for him to perform on. You know, like I say, I think if, um, if an Emil would have been um, fit, Emil would have started on the left and I'd probably at some point tried to get Cole on into maybe one of the central areas during the game. Um, he's been outstanding all week, uh, all, all camp, sorry. Like he's been, he's been incredible in training. Um, he's he's really caught the eye of all of the coaches and 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 both Ashley and Jolyn have have spoke um, and how impressed they've been with him. I was going to say is that that Cruyff turn for the goal is that the sort of thing you see every day? Oh, I won't say I'll see I'll see it every day. I mean, it was an outstanding uh, piece of skill. Like I say, I, I was I was lucky enough to to see Cole developing as a what would he have been fourteen year old. So I knew he was he, he is capable as as is you know you know Phil and and Tommy Doyle they and. And players like that, they have got them like extreme moments where they can do something out of nothing and and create that goal. And um, like I said, the biggest thing for us is making sure that we we put in Cole and getting Cole into positions where he can do that. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Cheers Jack. Jack. Cheers, guys. We'll call it there. Thanks very much. Cheers.